Today I want to show you how you can create LODs for the Unreal Engine 4 in Blender. So first of all you have to create the mesh. In my case this one here. Then just export it. And now we have to decrease the vertices count. Either you do it manually or you do it with a modifier. I will just add a modifier now. So go to the modifier tab, add modifier and choose DC Mate. Now here you can change the value. So how many words there should be. So for example when you type in 0.1 then it decreases it from 1000 to around 100. And that's pretty good. And I will export this now. So go to File, Export, Autodesk, and I will save it under LOD1. Here you can choose as many LOD stages you like. For example, LOD2, LOD3, and so on. But I will just keep, stay at one LOD level now. Okay, now we have to go into the Unreal Engine 4. Then we have to go to Import. And now we have to import the base mesh. Then if you do a double click onto the base mesh, so that we get to the static mesh editor. And down here at LOD settings, you can import your LOD stages. So we just click onto base LOD and then import LOD level 1. Now we'll choose my LOD 1. And now it has been added. And now we can see it in here. Okay, up here at auto LOD, you can choose which LOD stage should be shown in the static mesh editor. So when I put it to base LOD, then just the base LOD will be here. Okay, now up here, type in auto. And there you have to disable auto commute LOD distance. Because then you are able to change the, the distance where the LOD should be displayed. Otherwise, you could do it also with the auto distance error. You could type in a higher value or lower value. But I would recommend you to just disable this little setting here. Because now we can change the distance from the LOD stage here. For example, when I put this to 500, I'll place the mesh into my level. Okay, now, now we have the base LOD, and now with LOD stage 1. We can also increase that distance. For example, no, not 4000, let's say 2000. Then it will be displayed in a far distance. Okay, now in the static mesh editor, you can also choose different materials for each LOD level. You just have to add them at the first LOD state. Uh, you just have to add them at the material slots. So in my case, I've added this one here, and the second LOD channel, I will add, let's say, this one here. Yeah, combine shaders. Okay, so now we see our base LOD stage. When we go a little bit far away, it changes the material, and of course, the LOD stage gets into the LOD one. And now this saves pretty much performance. So I would recommend you to use LOD stage on your every mesh, even on the small ones. You can always save a little bit of vertices, and therefore a little bit of performance. So yeah, that's how you create the LOD stage in Blender for the Unreal Engine 4. Thank you for watching, and until next time.